Hello, Jason here from Fireway. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install statics generators to a Kentec Sigma AXT extinguishing panel, including how to wire it all up and get the panel ready for extinguishment. If you'd like to learn more about Kentec panels, Kentec offers many videos online that you can reference. However, today I'm going to show you how to wire statics generators up and get the panel ready for extinguishment. First, simply open the cover of the panel. If I were actually setting this up in the field, I would hook up everything else first before I hook up the statics generators. The reason is I want to mitigate and eliminate the possibility of setting the aerosol generators off. Also, I would typically use test matches or LEDs to simulate a release before actually connecting live generators. However, for this example, we're going to assume we've done our due diligence and are going to hook up the generators. Next, locate the terminals that state extinguishing. The max number of static generators that you can use on the Sigma AXT panel, specifically on the extinguishing terminal, is 10. These 10 generators must be connected in series. If you are only using one or two generators, then a 2R2, also known as a 2.2 ohm resistor, must be used in line with the generators. Today I'm going to hook up five generators with the end of line diode to this panel. Once you've hooked up the generators, EPD and the end of line diode, you can hook up the batteries and then apply power. It may take some time for the panel to power up. And if you need further assistance, please refer to our EPD eMatch protection device video. Now, if there are any faults that arise during the start out, be sure to fix those before going any further. Refer to the Kentech manual for any faults you encounter or contact technical at statics.com. There is an extinguishing trouble light that may turn on if the circuit has not been properly calibrated, as you can see here. If you see the extinguishing trouble light come on, you'll have to locate the extinguishing monitor dial and you'll have to rotate it clockwise until the fault clears. Keep in mind that this dial can rotate over a dozen times, so it might seem like you're turning the screw forever. Once the light goes off, it's a good idea to short the extinguishing output to see the LED lights illuminate and then go out when the short is removed. This will ensure that the calibration of the extinguishing circuit is set. Now we've created some dummy units that will light off using the manual release switch on the panel. In this example, the panel is set for a five second delay. As always, if you have any questions about this video or want to see additional videos, please comment below or go to our YouTube channel, Fireway Inc. Otherwise, please email us at technical at We'll see you next time.